A cargo vessel fitted with giant wind-powered sails has set out on its maiden voyage. The shipping company Cargill, which chartered the ship, hopes the technology will help the industry move towards a greener future. The first journey is from China to Brazil and will provide the first real-world test of this wind-wing technology. The marine industry counts for nearly 3% of global carbon dioxide emissions. Well, let's talk now to uh, Simon Schofield, the technology officer of Bar Technologies, the company behind these uh, smart sails. Simon, good to see you. Welcome. This is kind of back to the future, really, isn't it? I mean, sailing ships was how we used to move cargo. Very much so. We've kind of done a, a full circle, obviously bringing a, a lot more technology along the way now. So these are, are infinitely more efficient than, than the old soft sails of the past. In simple terms, how does your technology work? I mean, this is not replacing those uh, polluting marine diesel engines altogether, is it? No, so we call this a wind-assisted propulsion, so we're not, we're not replacing the, uh, the engines entirely, but it's a, it's a rigid three-element wing which sits vertically on the deck, and we have a number of those on the ship. And they work very much like an aircraft wing, but in a vertical plane rather than horizontal, so rather than producing a lift in the vertical direction to help a plane take off. We're producing that thrust or that lift forwards to propel the vessel. And we save per wing uh, about a tonne and a half of fuel uh, per wing per day, which equates to nearly five tonnes of CO2 emissions. On a, on a typical vessel, that could be 30 plus percent of the total fuel consumption. So a, a significant dent in the, in the uh, consumption of the vessel. I mean, on a business program like this, we spend ages talking about uh, the record of the uh, airline industry and uh, how dirty cars are. But the truth is, the maritime industry has a pretty filthy record when it comes to emissions, doesn't it? I mean, is this really going to turn the tide? Yeah, I think, you know, you've got the likes of Cargill and, and uh, MC Shipping, they're, they're partners in this project, and there's definitely uh, a, a shift in the attitudes of the industry and we're definitely we've definitely seen that this is not going to be the silver bullet that's going to solve the problem entirely uh, and i don't think there will be a silver bullet it'll be a case of implementing a lot of different technologies along the way uh, which which decarbonize they decarbonize the industry as a whole but there definitely is a, a big drive uh, and we're sure this is going to be a significant part of the solution. How long is this going to take to roll out? Presumably this is about retrofitting some ships and also new builds, new ships. Yep, absolutely. So the first ship uh, that, that, that you talked about that's currently in, on voyage is uh, a retrofit, and there's another vessel in dry dock right now, uh, which is a retrofit as well. So we're expecting to see an acceleration of those retrofits very, very quickly with, you know, hundreds uh, in, in the next years. Uh, but then there's the new builds coming online uh, as, as they start development. And you'd expect that um, a significant number, especially tankers and bolt carriers that are entering new build in the next five years will have, have a wind propulsion device of some sort fitted. I mean, this isn't entirely new technology, is it? I mean, it has a, a, a racing pedigree, a, a racing past. It's been tested. Yes, yeah, so BAR Technologies was born about six years ago out of the back of the America's Cup, which is a, a highly competitive sports event in, in the marine industry. Uh, with the, with the, with the uh, plan to utilise the race team technology and tools and, and personnel and distill that, that knowledge into the wider commercial industry, which is exactly what we're doing, but uh, we had large uh, wings, slightly different to these in terms of their use profile, but Again, similar technologies and, and, and tools to develop them. Simon, good luck with it. Good to talk to you. Thanks very much indeed for coming on the programme. Simon Schofield uh, from Bar Technologies.